everybody. Thank you for joining me. I do truly appreciate it. Today I want to open up a box because I got a book in there and I got to get that mother out. This one is a book that I've already got. It's a Sun Tup Editions, Artist Edition of a phenomenal book called Butcher Boy by Patrick McCabe. And this is a book that I'd never heard of. Anyway, this comes with caveats. Uh, we'll start there. I already have the numbered edition. Beautiful book from Sun Tup Editions. I already have the numbered edition. I already have the artist edition. Beautiful books. But I saw a post on the fans of Sun Tup Facebook group talking about some special versions of this from a company in uh, Barry in the United Kingdom called Analecta Books. And so when I pulled up the link, they had a, an edition, an uh, artist edition of The Butcher Boy signed by the author Patrick McCabe and rebarked by the artist David Lupton. And they had a big discount on their stuff. I think it was 40% off. But anyway, I got the book delivered here in the United States for a great price. I had the shot and I took it. Now, back up a little bit. The Butcher Boy is a book that I'd never heard of before, but a, a fellow by the name of Jeff Terry uh, talked about it an awful lot, his favorite book. And it just didn't seem like anything I'd be interested in. Sorry, just reading the synopsis on the book doesn't... Didn't, it didn't draw me in. Um, and it wasn't until Sun Tup Editions, the rumors came out they were going to be publishing that book. Then I said, well, I maybe need to read this thing to decide if I want to buy it, if I want to own it. So I read the book. And for me, it was a roller coaster ride. I loved it. I hated it. I was confused. I wondered what was going on. And in the end, I loved it. And I wanted to read it again. Just phenomenal. What a ride. A great, great book. I see why somebody would call this their favorite book that has ever been written. And uh, yeah, I wanted it. I, I, I ordered when it was available. I ordered the numbered edition. And then I ended up buying an artist edition. And now I've ordered another artist edition. So let's move on to the package that came in the mail directly from Barry in the United Kingdom. I'm assuming that's a, um, a city there. That's what it's addressed. But I'm worried because it came in a box that isn't much bigger than the book itself all the way to Central Florida from all the way over there. And the box has taken some abuse. This is a book inside of a slipcase and it doesn't take much to make it uh, to ruin it where I don't want the thing. So I'm a little bit concerned, a little bit nervous. It's fragile but still, somebody treated it with a lack of love, treated it with disrespect, and I'm worried, but hoping. Hey, some good news. There's a little bit of extra space in the box, and they did wrap it in bubble wrap. So the sun is kind of peeking out behind the clouds, but uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. The only way to find out for sure is to stick around until these commercial breaks are through. What's up guys? Welcome back to my video. Today, I don't know. <laughs> I, messed, I messed up, I messed up. I don't have good jokes, but I tell them anyway. Anyway, here's the, the book. At, I'm taking a quick glance real quick because I care more than you do. It's got, they cut the end of the plastic, I guess, to get the book out. There's plastic over over the uh, the rest of the slip case. So I'm gonna take this out. It's come with a bookmark also, which is cool. I've got some, but it's cool. Get this out of here. And before I go any further, I'm gonna take the book out, set it here. Good boy, stay there. Let's look at this slip case because this is what I was worried about. This is the thing that if something's gonna get bashed in this process, it's the slip case. What do you think? Do you think I made it? It looks like I made it unscathed. Yay! Um, so the Butcher Boy was one, if I remember right, and by looking at mine, it stands to reason. The slipcase was a little bit loose on the book. I wrapped mine in Mylar, and on the shelf, I never ever noticed any extra space, so I'm pleased. There were some people that were annoyed by that, but maybe, maybe I'm just easier to please. I don't know. I'm a very medium guy, so I guess uh, I tend to be pleased easier than some. Anyway, works for me. But the slipcase is in great shape. 
Very happy there's the spine of the slipcase. Sun Tup Editions ha uh, does put the title, the publisher's logo, the author's name on the spine for folks that like to put these things backwards on their shelves. Uh, it worked for you great. Doesn't work for me, at least not now. I like them the right way, but who's to say I'm right? All right, so I paid for this book when I already had it because I wanted some special stuff. I'm going to show you this David Lupton artwork while we're talking. The dust jacket is beautiful, but I wanted a copy, an artist edition signed by the author, and the uh, the remark was just icing on the cake. So let's take a look at her. Can't pass this stuff up. Sun Tup Editions does such amazing quality work. Their cloth bindings, the, the materials that they use are so great. Look at the Smithsonian binding there. The cloth boards, I mean, cloth covered boards. Look at there. End pages look so cool. The David Lupton artwork was great. Now this edition is supposed to be signed and it is indeed by Patrick McCabe. I don't have anything signed by the author, but this is sweet. I, <laughs> I'd have paid more. I'd have paid more than I did for it, but just to have it signed by Patrick McCabe, best wishes, best wishes, witches, best, best wishes, Patrick M. McCabe, Patrick McCabe, I guess that's what it is, Patrick McCabe underneath, awesome, awesome, but wait, there's more, this book is supposed to be remarked, so I'm gonna, I don't know where, I don't know if I just supposed to be if I'm going to try to find the remark in here. So they put the, the uh, Sun Tup editions, put the author's signature page in the back. And there's where it is signed on all, all of them. The artist editions are signed by David Lupton there. And there is a loose page sitting right here. And that's why. So in here, there's a loose page. For a second, I thought maybe he just drew on a page and stuck it in there. But even better, this loose page helps to protect the opposite page from our what looks like, I'll take a closer look, what looks like my pencil remark. And man, that is cool. That's cool. Uh, great. Excellent choice. It got here in shape. I can't think of a better way to treat such a great book than to have the author sign it and uh, the illustrator remark it. So let's flip through just a little bit. We got a few more minutes. I got my timer set. There's no timer. I always stay on time. I'm never late with these videos. I never go long. I'm not waffly or wordy or anything like that. But I want to show you some of the some of the illustrations. I've already shown you these illustrations twice now, but you're here already. Hey, we might as well show you more. Show you why this is such a phenomenal edition of such a phenomenal book. Francie Brady is a boy, an Irish boy in a small town with a drunk for a father and a mother who's uh, she has mental health problems. And needless to say, well, I guess uh, I guess it is something that's needed to be said but Francie has his own issues uh it doesn't necessarily mean he would but he does he has his own issues and he's a boy that has an amazing sense of humor and such a bright personality but he really really gets in trouble he has issues with anger he has issues with behavior and he does some stuff that really uh really puts himself in jeopardy I won't go too deep into any of that kind of stuff, but uh, but the story, I'll just, it's it's worth a read. I loved it, and I dug it. I liked the way it ended. I won't tell you anything else about that, other than it, I left this book happy, happy that I read it, happy that uh, that it was written. I immediately finished the book. I went out and looked up the movie. I paid some money on Amazon to buy it, so I could watch it again later. I uh, watched the movie, and the movie enhanced my feelings about the book. There, one of the issues with the book is it's written in a, in 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 a, I, Irish, so a person speaking English don't understand it. It's it's written in English, but Irish, and he uses a lot of the vernacular of the time and the place, and it can be confusing. 
uh, for me. And uh, I never claimed to be a genius anyway, but I, I worked through it. Sometimes I'd have to read things a couple times to figure out what they mean by it. And sometimes I was a little bit confused and I would figure that stuff out later on. But then reading it and getting it and then watching the movie, it really put a lot of things in more simple context for me. So reading the book and loved it, watching the movie, movie, which I also loved, made me love the book even more. So it was a good enhancement for that. I would say you need to read the book and then watch the movie. That, that might work the best. But either way, read the book. It's great. I'm glad to have this thing. Glad to have it in my collection. I feel like I, I got an opportunity that I was lucky to jump on before they were all sold out. I know some other folks on the Facebook group ordered this thing up. But anyway, I'm glad to have it. Very glad to put this in my collection. Now I gotta figure out what to do with my other artist edition. Any ideas? Maybe, yeah. Hello, anyway, I can think of no more lies to tell. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being nice and not saying too many awful things to a sensitive boy. I can think of no more lies to tell. Say lobby, baby. Did it.